everybody. I am here with like creative chalkboard day. I don't know. But I figured I would share my different chalkboard stuff on this channel with you guys and on my blog. But I didn't want to just put pictures. So I thought I would explain what I did. So for this week, I took a string that I kind of secured. I drew a cute snail. How cute is he? Or she? Put some snail mail. And then I hung some of our Valentine cards and anything else that you know, I kind of want to show, I will hang there. Then I put the Jaggers. Then I have the Don't Forget stuff right here. Then I've already done my menu planning for this week. I left it up on the board, and when we, you know, have one of those, I'll just scratch it off. And then Jackson's quote um, for the week is right here. And um, then this is Jackson's area below. So, you know, one thing I will say about working on a chalkboard, because I've never really done it to the extent of, you know, this, um, is going over the chalk over and over and over. And sometimes using wet chalk really is fun, too. So you can see that Romeo's birthday is February 25th. I need to email the school, send in meds um, to school Monday. And then we also got Jackson's fundraiser going on. And the meals are burgers and fries, tacos and beans, pancakes and sausage. Boy, those three sound just like my son. Beef stew and bread, sandwich and tater tots, grilled chicken salad, pizza and root beer floats, and leftovers. So I just thought it would be fun to kind of put them there. And again, as I make whichever, I'm just going to scratch it off. And um, I didn't put any dates because, you know, around here we switch stuff up. Sometimes we... Um, eat out on a night that I was planning on cooking, or sometimes I don't want to cook on a night that I was planning on cooking. So I didn't want to put the dates. I never like doing that, but these are the upcoming meals. So, you know, whatever day I want to make them. Um, and as I said, Jackson is learning a new scripture every week. This one is, the Lord will fight for you. You only have to be still. I thought it was beautiful. And that's where it's at in the Bible. And then again, a little area, so he can write. I did that because if um, not, he might just write all over this. And while I don't really care, I do not want to, um, I don't really want him messing a lot of stuff up. So I made him his own little space. And um, I will say that when you clean the chalkboard and, you know, next week when I maybe switch it up, I might leave the snail mail up, but I'll switch up probably some of this. Um it's hard to, to really get all that chalk off. You have to use a lint-free rag and a bucket and just keep going over it and over it and over it till all the chalk is gone. Sure, you can erase it, and that's fine. Um, but, you know, we do um, like it kind of neat and clean. Um, somebody asked me about chalkboard or chalk dust, and yes, you get it. You can kind of see. Now, last night, I haven't vacuumed yet, but last night I was working... On this and so you can see there's a little bit of dust right there by the baseboard but nothing I can't vacuum up really quick so I still think it's totally worth it and um, oh I do want to say something about the chalk I really like the um, washable sidewalk chalk that's my favorite but to write I like a little bit thinner like the normal chalk but I love this chalk and this is probably the kind I will keep using on um, this chalkboard wall for a long time so I'll be back very very soon with a smoothie for smoothie Saturday and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any suggestions um, of some cute things for a chalkboard wall be sure to leave them in the comments below and uh, so I should have another video up probably next weekend showing our board at that time. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.